Hi guys, welcome to this video about the access denied problem. This is my second video. I've already made a first one and some people have been uh, successful uh, solving this uh, through my help, but not all of them have been helped and some people have been complaining about I'm not telling everything so let's dig into that a little bit more in detail probably I'm still not covering everything but I'm trying to go a little bit deeper now okay what's the problem usually here is access denied means this website has some indication that somebody uh, with your IP address is uh, doing strange things or was doing strange things. That could be like a hacker trying to do something or maybe you got a virus or malware or whatever. So it could be that you have uh, malware so your computer is infected. It could be that you're not infected so of course it's always when you have this thing it's always uh, indicated or it's a good advice to update your virus and malware and phishing or whatever scanner all the software update and make a good scan it can be that you ha are affected it can be that you're not affected so but always good idea to check if you're affected so especially when you are not affected I mean anyway so <laughs> uh, regardless if you're affected or not you have to change your public IP address to reclaim access to this site so because there are web pages like this one here so or softwares like the akami uh, or akame.com they are providing web services or cloud services to a lot of big company companies and they are monitoring oh my goodness where i am so they are uh, monitoring their websites or their web traffic and if they feel that somebody's trying to attack their customer's website or yeah there is uh, malware uh, or something like that so they block the access so that could be from you or that could, that could be from a previous user because the IP address is always changed it's changed by your internet service provider if you are a normal user not a, if you don't have an uh, VPN client installed so usually you have your I public IP address for a longer time but uh, even then sometimes it will change over time so you can check this here uh, so here's my router if you go usually to 192.168.0.1 could be another address but uh, this um, IP address will be given by your service provider and you will, or you will see that on your router so you go there uh, log in and then you go to when setup uh, or here when setup and you can see there's a IP address I'm not going to show you everything uh, because I don't want to publish my whole uh, public IP address here of course so but you can see that the that's the uh, IP address in the van co configuration IP address you can see your public address uh, you can also check it here when you go let's say to www.whatsmyip.com and you click on what's my public IP address then it's being showed here um, of course uh, same thing I'm not going to show you the whole thing but it's the public IP for address here and it's the same as on your router so uh, yeah um, again this 
saying this IP address is changed so uh, or yeah from time to time on your router uh, can happen from time to time by the maintenance team of the of your internet service provider or it's on an automatic um, like a regular schedule so maybe every week or every month or every two months so how can you force that the problem is there's no button here on this page where you can say renew my public IP address so you have two possibilities here first thing is you go um, yeah you uh, you unplug or you uh, yeah you unplug basically your router or turn it off and then turn it on again and maybe your router will get a new public IP address could be could be not yeah, but there's no guarantee that you will get it so another possibility is to uh, call the support of your internet service provider let's say maybe you have chat or phone number and you ask to renew you say you're having this issue uh, with this uh, with accessing a site and maybe there was somebody uh, it could be that uh, from your service provider, internet service provider, there was another person uh, who had malware and already tried to access this site, and so they were blocking this IP. And so over time, you get uh, that person's IP address, and so you will be blocked instead of him or her. That can happen. So you can uh, ask the support of your internet sub service provider if, ca if they can renew. So you will be able to access this site. So if you are not able or you don't want to do that, uh, that's actually a very easy way, but it's a costly way. Uh, I mean, of course, you would have to pay for that or I mean, yeah, simply it's uh, using VPN. Um, if you're using a VPN, then your public address, IP address, will be changed. There are a lot of um, VPN providers. Here I have one, the one I've been using for since couple of months or for last couple of months, and uh, looks pretty good. So, and they have an awesome deal. Uh, you can get it for. $2.75 per month if you're doing a three year deal. I'm not in any kind affiliated with this um, with this provider, uh, VPN provider, but uh, I'll put down the link anyway so you can directly access here. And when you make a three, the three year deal on that, that makes about $100. I think it's $100 for three years. That's really, really cheap. And to have a VPN is always good. So sometimes you want to access content of another country or somebody is DDoSing you or uh, yeah, like the, 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 this problem here when you really can't access a website. So you activate your VPN and then um yeah you can choose like a website uh, uh, and like an ip address from your country or from another country sometimes like the nord vpn they have about 100 ip address the different uh servers on the in the united states you, you have a huge variety uh, of IP addresses which you can get but of course when you go there there's a probability that they will give you an IP address of a person which, which a person has been using with a infected PC and they have been on your website uh, on this website and they have been blocked so but the good thing if you are uh, that you if you're using a big a uh, VPN provider like this, you can change the IP address really quickly. You, you ch switch to another server and then that's a good chance that the problem will be gone. So anyway, I recommend having a VPN client handy. It can solve many, many problems 
and uh, that, that, that's really a good thing so I really recommend that so anyway so uh, if uh, yeah to recap the whole thing regardless if you're affected or somebody else with the same IP address was infected so you have to change your IP address to regain uh, access and the easiest way from my side is to use a VPN so yeah that's about it I mean and of course there's if you have this there's always indicated to check uh, your computer uh, make a full scan with an updated scanner uh, like a virus scanner malware scanner uh, whatever so uh, I think I have now covered a little bit more than on my last video See if you have any questions or comments, right? Just write to the comment section below. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.